There's more to Beethoven than storm and stress. In this video, discover the composer's lighter side with his fourth symphony. I'm Calvin Dotsie, and this is the Houston Symphony's Classical Notes. Ludwig van Beethoven composed his fourth symphony during the summer and autumn of 1806, while staying in what is modern-day southwestern Poland. There, Beethoven met one Count Oppersdorf. Oppersdorf enjoyed Beethoven's music so much that he commissioned Beethoven to write a new symphony. Though Beethoven was already hard at work on his fifth symphony, he set that stormy piece aside to compose something completely different. Instead of intense drama and struggle, Beethoven's fourth symphony is full of comedy and enchantment. Several passages look forward to the music Mendelssohn would write to evoke the magical forest of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Throughout, the symphony is suffused with Beethoven's mischievous sense of humor. The symphony begins with a slow, mysterious introduction. This gloom, however, is soon dispelled by the effervescent theme that begins the main body of the movement. An exuberant transition leads to a contrasting second theme. A third theme is introduced as a canon between the clarinet and bassoon. These themes are then developed and reprised in a movement filled with surprising twists and turns, leading to an irresistible ending. The second movement begins with a rhythmic motif that has been likened to a heartbeat. Combined with the yearning violin melody that follows, these ideas led the renowned music writer Sir George Grove to discern an amorous coloring in the movement. Grove wrote, Here we rise from good humor and pleasure to passion, and such a height of passion as even Beethoven's fiery nature has perhaps never reached elsewhere. A solo clarinet introduces a complementary second theme. What first appears to be a variation of the opening theme becomes an intense developmental passage. The opening theme then returns as a flute solo, now ornamented with musical sighs. After a reprise of the other main ideas, the movement ends with Beethoven's most endearing timpani solo. The impish third movement is full of rhythmic games and sudden changes of mood. Contrasting sections feature gentler music for the woodwinds. These two ideas alternate, leading to a playful ending. The finale is a mirthful romp that begins with a chattering perpetual motion theme for the violins. 
The woodwinds then introduce a more lyrical theme. Soon after, Beethoven tells us an outrageous musical joke. The movement's development begins by ratcheting the perpetual motion theme higher and higher. A series of quick key changes proves delightfully disorienting. This builds to an intense climax. The main themes of the movement are then reprised. Beethoven saves his best jokes for last as this uproarious finale comes to an end. You can hear Beethoven's Fourth Symphony and more great music performed by the Houston Symphony each week through Houston Public Media. Thank you for watching and enjoy the music.